Hello Vegas users, I'm Spencer Smith with Under Movie Productions and I am so sorry I haven't had a Vegas tutorial up in a while but we're back and this segment is about masking. Uh, it's really simple, um, it's how my face is green right now. It's not usually like that, trust me. Uh, it's a simple effect but I mean, it's it's pretty uh, basic, and everyone should kind of know know about it. So here we go. I have a little clip to show you what masking can do. My shoe really doesn't smell that bad. It's it's just acting, children. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna recreate this for you. I'm gonna drag the original clip down. I'm gonna. First thing you're going to need to do is trim off all the extra and get it uh, down to where you actually want your clip. Okay, that's about where I want it. Hold down control and drag from the original clip to have it copied. Click on your uh, secondary clip, hold down U to take the sound away and delete. We're not gonna need the extra sound. Okay, the clip that you're going to be doing the masking with is going to need to be on top on the top layer of your timeline now you're going to click on the event pan and crop tool now at the bottom left corner there's the masking you're going to want to click on that and right where you want your uh, effect which in this case is the uh, green where, where you want that effect to start, you're going to add a create keyframe, which is just this a diamond shaped thing with the uh, plus in the middle. If you're unusual with these, I believe in our first tutorial we talk about this a little bit. So if you're having a little trouble messing with this, um, I'd look at that video. And these uh, come in handy everywhere. Okay, after you uh, have a mark, here for that you're going to want to start your masking. To do that this um, pen looking tool in the corner here is what you're going to want to have on. Okay. Now your masking here doesn't have to be too perfect because the feathering will take care of that. It's going to even if you're a perfectionist, it's not going to show because um, the feathering will just blur all the lines. Okay, as you can see, this is shaded and this is um, still uh, still uh, in the front ground. This is now taken uh, back. This is now cut out of the clip. Now, if you look at your modes, the mode is going. You're going to want to have it on positive, negative is the reverse. Everything is showing but the inside of what you masked and disabled doesn't show anything. So we're going to keep it on positive and opacity 100%. Feathering type we're going to want out for this just because the green effect we want the green effect to kind of shade into uh, the other areas. Um, in is basically everything outside of your masked area is going to be feathered inward and out outward and both is a little mixture of both <laughs> okay so like I said out now the feathering um, let's use just a little bit we're gonna have it on a little less than three and a half and we're done with that part now event effects we're going to click on that or you can go into your video effects we're going to click on sony color balance add and okay we're going to add a little bit of the green actually i'm going to make that really noticeable just so you uh, you can see now that is very sickly okay now as you can see it's green throughout the whole clip see it's getting greener and uh, it's that's not how we want it we're gonna go back to the green 
as you can see our point right here so we have zero when it, when it actually starts and it gradually fades up until it's maximum until it gets here so we're going to add another point fairly close make sure we have that selected and bring it back down so that way we have a shorter fade on our clip right after I uh, pick my head up after I smell the shoe I'm, uh, I'm looking sick and it's still there so again just how we uh, tick it off we're going to add another keyframe marker and turn down the green so between these two kind of boundaries we put that's where the green's going to be okay and you're going to have to mess around with it you're not going to get it right uh, the right look the first time you get it I'm going to need more feathering here I think but that's basically uh, how you mask it's not not too difficult at all and also I uh, well, we might as well mention rotoscoping right now which is basically chroma keying uh, every uh, each individual clip and basically let's say you wanted this effect to move it's you're gonna you're gonna do a separate masking for each frame or get it to move and I'll we'll probably do a video of that later but uh, now you know how to mask and for uh, short things like that you know that's just another effect you can uh, use on your videos. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed. If you have any questions, and trust me, we are kind of running out of video ideas. So if you need help with anything or have any ideas for future videos concerning Vegas tutorials, uh, leave us a comment or a message. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.